My number one wellness habit is to stock up my fridge and my pantry with healthy food. We eat at home 90% of the time in a week. We maybe go out to eat twice a week. So we're cooking a lot at home and that honestly makes me just feel so good. And I notice it right away. The days when like there's family visiting or we're traveling and we're eating a lot out, I feel it. Like I just, I feel so much better when I have co home cooked meals. So stocking up once a week, Today, I just went to Sprouts and I got all the things for the week for all four of us here at home. And having a stocked fridge and pantry just makes it so much easier to prepare my meals at home because I'm like, okay, I have all this food. I don't want it to go to waste. So I am gonna make it. And a lot of the times I just make simple things. Um, you guys can see in my last what I eat in a day video, all my food was like really, really simple. So that's most of the time how I'm eating. I love to make recipes as well. And I will get creative a few times a week, but for the most part, I'm eating very simple. So wellness tip number one, stock up on fresh food every week. My wellness tip number two is walking in the sunshine. And if you're not gonna walk, then just get out get some sun and get fresh air. I promise you this will change your day and the way that you feel. And it's crazy because we don't realize that we spend the majority of our time inside breathing indoor air and we're not getting sunshine. So it's so important to go out and get that sun. And I like to go out and walk with Colette. Even her, like I can totally tell. She's a little baby and I can tell that she is just so much more calm and she sleeps better and she likes it. Like she can, I can tell that she really likes it. And she's a baby, you know, babies are so intuitive and instinctive. So get outside, get fresh air, get sunshine. And if you can, go on a walk. My next wellness habit is working out and staying active. This is something that we are innately designed to do. We are designed to move our bodies, to be outside, to be in nature. And I totally feel it. Like when I don't move my body, even just going on a walk, I don't feel the same. Like my energy feels stagnant. I feel lethargic. I'm in a bad mood. And it's not about doing like a crazy workout. Like if you walk every single day, your hormones will be balanced. Your circadian rhythm would be, will be in tune. Um, everything will work better. Add in a little bit of weight training or maybe some stretching, yoga, Pilates, whatever you like to do. Maybe it's playing tennis, maybe it's swimming. Like find an activity where you're moving your body that you actually enjoy and start doing it on a consistent basis. So be consistent with it. Aim to work out at least three times a week and stay active for the rest of the days. Um, I personally, I have been working out for almost 10 years now, a long time consistently. And now it's like brushing my teeth, like working out for me. It's just something that I do to maintain my health. It took me years to get to this point to where it became just something that I didn't really have to think about. Um, and of course there's so many days where I do not feel motivated to work out, but I think about how good I'm going to feel afterwards. And that helps me to just power through it. And I know, and, and it always happens. Like I never regret working out. And if you're new to working out and you want to start, I recommend that you download my app, Simple Fit, where I have lots of workout classes. There's body weight classes, there's yoga, Pilates. For most of the workouts, you don't need any equipment. So you don't have to worry about getting any like special equipment, like just using your body, you can get a really good workout. And there's workouts all the way from five minutes to 30 minutes. And that's it. You don't really need much time. 
So definitely try it out. I'll leave you guys the link in the description of this video and you can try it out for free for seven days. And there's also a free challenge on there. The mommy challenge was which, which was my most recent challenge. It has workouts, meal plan and recipes. Yes, the app also has hundreds of healthy, easy recipes. I'll leave you guys the link in the description of this video. My next habit is having a relationship with your higher power. For me, it's God. I believe in God, I believe in Christ. For some people, it may be the universe or just something greater. Maybe they don't have a name for it. And I think this is so important because, okay, because life is honestly hard and having a relationship with God for me gives me just so much peace in trusting something that is greater than myself. Like so many times things happen in my life where I'm like, why is this happening? What am I gonna do? And so many times I don't have the answer for that. And I just trust and I'm like, God, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's gonna happen, but all I know is that you have control of everything. And all I know is that you protect me and all I know is that everything's gonna work out for the best. And it always does. So for me, it's like, it helps me to just feel lighter in life as well, to feel more optimistic about life. Um, helps me um, um, forgive easier, not carry around resentment. And health is integral, like health is body, mind, and spirit. So you can't expect to just eat healthy and work out and expect to have and expect to feel amazing because it's not just that it's like it's working on ourselves it is believing in a higher power like that is an essential part of health um what does that look like for me it's honestly very simple it's like having god present in my mind and my thoughts throughout the day when i woke when i wake up in the morning i always pray that he protects me and my family I pray that his will be done. Whenever I want something specific to happen in my life, I ask him for it. And I ask him to fulfill the desires of my heart. And I truly believe that he will make it happen if it is part of his will for my life. So that is my fourth health tip, is having a relationship with a higher power my next wellness habit is working on yourself when i changed my lifestyle like 10 years ago i kind of began to wake up to a lot of things i, I feel like i had this spiritual awakening and for some people that happens and for others it doesn't but i feel like we all get to a point in our lives where we start to question like what is life all about or maybe we feel anxiety or we feel stress or we might feel sad. All these emotions that we all feel at one point can lead us to question like, what is the meaning of life, right? And for me, working on myself is started like that. And I began to read books like The Power of Now. I began to look into meditation and then that led me to learn about journaling and then la that led me to learn about healing the inner child and one thing led to another the first years i feel like i was in a, a little rabbit hole like trying to find like the answers right like i want to be better um self-improvement self-growth went to retreats and seminars and like all these things but now i see that all of those retreats and everything like, yes, they help, but they're not necessary. So working on myself, especially right now that I have a baby, it makes it much more difficult to find those times for myself. So one thing that I love to do is journal. So I don't do it every day like I used to. If you guys look at my videos here on YouTube, you'll see that my morning routine was like, wake up, gratitude, and like all these things. Like now it's like, wake up and like Colette is right here. I'm like, okay, she needs to, you know, play. She needs to eat, change her diaper. And it's like everything changed, right? So I'm finding my groove. Like ideally I would love to wake up a little bit earlier to like meditate and have that time. But for now, whenever I'm feeling like 
just off. I love to journal. I love to write. Like many things, I, many times I have so many thoughts in my mind and I don't know how to communicate it. So just sitting down and just writing, like without judgment, just writing, 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 writing. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I feel clear now. Like I can think. So what does working on yourself look like to you? Maybe breathing, maybe it is praying. Maybe it is meditating or journaling or talking to someone. I am a strong believer in therapy. Um, I've had a coach that I work with for years on and off. Like I'll probably go six months and then I'll take a break of like another six months or four months and then I'll go back. And for me, that's working on myself because so many times, because I don't want to be carrying around things, you know, I want to just feel light and feel good and feel happy. Obviously not all the time, but just feel optimistic and like feel like I am living up to my fullest potential. And I know that like cleaning up a lot of things that I'm holding on to or trauma um, is really important. So that is my wellness tip. I feel like it's part of just mental health um so yeah so these were my wellness habits let me know what your wellness habits are in the comment section and let me know if you guys like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell it's absolutely free and i make my biggest effort to upload once a week i send you a big huge hug and i'll see you in the next video bye